Hi, I'm Simo. I'm a teacher and a content creator from Morocco. I focus on ADHD productivity tips, personal organization, and leveraging tools such as Obsidian to simplify life. As someone managing ADHD and medicated ADHD, I've designed my workflow to prioritize uh, flexibility and ease of use. And today I'll walk you through my Obsidian setup that is tailored to my specific needs. First of all, uh, what is Obsidian? Obsidian is a powerful note-taking app. It's, for, it's free and it's built around the idea or the concept of linked notes. It's like having a second brain, allowing you to organize ideas, connect them and create a personal knowledge base. While the default version without customization and themes and plugins is robust, its true power comes from its customizability, making it adaptable to each use case and to your own workflow, basically making it your own free space. Hey, welcome. Hey, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I will dive into a subject that I am highly interested in. And that's how I use Obsidian to manage my unmedicated ADHD, my teaching job, and my life in general. Tasks and organizing thoughts and doing research and stuff like that. As someone with ADHD, I am known between my friends that I overshare. And I always like to share my Obsidian setup with my friends. And from time to time, I share it online with people, with close people online that I know. And I also post sometimes on the Reddit, uh, subreddit of Obsidian. And I always wanted to make a video explaining my setup and how I use Obsidian. So maybe someone might benefit from it or I get benefit from it knowing how you use your Obsidian setup. So first of all, Obsidian is a Markdown note-taking app. Uh, markdowns are a simple text syntax that used widely to read text files. And the Obsidian app rely on Markdown files for its functioning. So basically everything in your Obsidian vault is simple folders and Markdown files that you can locate on your computer and also access them without the need to the software. One of the core philosophies of Obsidian is file over app that you can preserve your knowledge throughout the years without relying on any other app to access them in the future. If you have an app that can read text, you can access your vault in the future. So to download Obsidian, you can go to obsidian.org md and get obsidian for your window or mac os android ios first time installing obsidian you get this window here you have you will have nothing here you will be prompted to create a new vault or you if you already have a folder you can with markdown files you can already open it here if you paid for the obsidian synchronization feature you can also sign in let's create a vault you can name it anything and locate it in your device i'm gonna make it here in the desktop we already can see the other vaults are created here select the folder and create create and voila there you have your out of the box obsidian vault with the graph view the note view and the folders yeah this is it this is the out of the box simple obsidian vault where you have you can create a note a folder and also you can create subfolders and organize things as you need so this is the default experience. If we went to our desktop, you will find the Imagine B++ folder has been created. And it is just a normal folder that you can access just from the file explorer. And here is the folders I made inside them, the subfolders with the markdowns that I made. You can see they end with .md. And as you might see here in the welcome note, there is text and you can easily open it through any 
text reading app and then it's just marked out. You can find plenty of videos explaining by details uh, how to use it, uh, like the simple basic uh, things. So first thing first, we have the famous wiki links that you can link other notes You can link other notes in your notes. Here I click welcome, I will go directly to the other other row. And if you used to use Notion, Evernote or Google Keep and you want to move on to Obsidian, you can use the community plugins. There is plenty of community plugins that can help you transform your data from other apps to obsidian so this is the out of the box default obsidian experience now let's take a look at my obsidian vault so this is my main setup as you might have noticed it is vastly different than the out of the box obsidian setup I have a lot of plugins and I customize it and use themes and stuff like that. Don't worry, I will guide you uh, how I achieve this setup. But in this episode, I will only talk about how I use Obsidian. I already have a list in my blog, imashmd.blog. You will find there uh, my list of plugins I use as of January 2025. I use Obsidian for various things. I use it mainly for my uh, note taking, daily note taking, using uh, the calendar and periodic note plugins. My philosophy using Obsidian is any knowledge or information that I can use a third party, in this case technology, to save it for another time. The kind of knowledge that I don't need every day and all the time with me so i use another tools to save those knowledge for future use and what is interesting about obsidian is the connected notes so you always have the context of what you are writing so you have a better understanding and easy access and a better way to remember stuff so i uh, this is a new this is a new file, Zotero, where I keep my research. This is the live folder and I categorize it to different categories. I have decision making in life, in career, in various aspects of life in general. I have the family folder, uh, all of the family stuff. My finance, uh, health my network you know health i keep all of the stuff that related to my health from my appointments with doctors and the results network is where i keep uh, a list of people i know and some information about them that i might need my politics and philosophical views are all categorized and archives here and we have the journaling this is what it, what started this journey of Obsidian News, the journaling thing. And I can access the journaling from the calendar or from the folder, which is organized using the periodic plugin that organized the folders. So there is daily journaling categorized to years, months, and days. There is the monthly briefing, quarter briefing, weekly briefing, and yearly briefing. So the most important one is the daily journaling thingy and the negative journaling. I will make a video uh, in the future about uh, this. Uh, this is very uh, important. And I use the plugin Iconize to change the color and icons of the folders and also the icons of everything here on the Obsidian. And I have the folder ADHD, oddly numbered, number of notes. My main two, maybe even three folders in my Obsidian is the journaling folder, the ADHD one, and the read and listen. And I will uh, explain to you why. First of all, ADHD, I have it to categorize uh, to subfolders. I have books, articles, organizations, online resources, communities, these are all things that are related to ADHD. And I have the teaching folder. Uh, it's related to my job. So it have the legal stuff and uh, my students and notes and stuff like that. Curriculum and, you know, teaching stuff. We are in the seventh folder, read and listen. Here where I keep all the things I read, summaries or thoughts or ideas about 
what I read and the links to what I read or listen to. Uh, there is articles, books, podcasts, roadmaps, scientific papers, YouTube videos, etc. So I keep them organized and I write notes about what I watch or listen to or read. And it is easy to find it. And instead of watching or reading the whole thing again, I can just go back to my note and read from it and grab an idea of what is it it is about there is this uh, general useful folder i might delete it or merge it with another folder maybe with archive or something like that it is like a book it's like my bookmarks where a lot of stuff i register here from tools softwares and things ai tricks you can see here it's not that important i might remove it and i have my entertainment folder where I keep watch of all of my uh, entertainment from anime, manga, movies, TV shows, and gaming. If I went to the anime and to my anime list, by the way, uh, the banners that you see, it's using the banner plugin. And the image you see here is using a CSS snippet. Also, this is a plugin. I will explain it in a moment. Here is the anime list. I'm using different things here. First of all, it's not normally look like this. The card thingy is a CSS snippet. And the table is uh, using the data view plugin. It's uh, one of the essential community plugins. So I keep track of everything here. If I clicked on anything, I will find this uh, with all the information about the, about the anime. If we went to the edits view, you will see the properties with all the data. The cover, uh, total episode, the status, category. I can achieve those things by using plugins that scrap data from the internet, automatically fill these properties. Also using the templator plugin to keep a template reused whenever I create a new note for an anime or anything else. I have the content creation folder where I keep all of the video scripts, brainstorming of ideas and stuff like that. I used to stream. I will get back to it. And now I also make videos here on YouTube. I made them before. And I have the business folder where I keep business ideas, brainstorming, contacts of people and, uh, you know, uh, stuff that related to my business. I do e-commerce and stuff like that. There is the participation in society. I used to have a CSS snippet that allowed the title of the folders to be shown fully. I recently moved it because my Obsidian setup is always ever changing. There is the other language uh, folder. I speak uh, English, but it's not my native language, as you might have noticed. I also speak Arabic, uh, French, and my native language is Darija, Moroccan Darija. And I try to learn Amazigh, it is uh, also a native language to Morocco and to the North Africa, North Africa. Yeah. And I have the um, most important notes here in this folder, important. Those are a mess. I will delete them or organize them. This is the BMO is for a, a plugin that leverage AI and creates uh, multiple profiles for your specific needs. I will delete it. Don't mind it. This is the clipping folder it is created automatically using the, the clipping plugin from Obsidian itself. The Excalidraw, it's uh, like a mind map app. Uh, I will remove it too. Don't mind too soon. And there's the random notes. Uh, it's self-explicatory. And the Z archive where I keep archive of templates of uh, attachments like PDFs, images, videos, audios, all of the stuff here are in Arca. And I have the dashboard. This is my dashboard. Obviously, it's not by default. I use CSS snippets and some plugins. Uh, first of all, uh, this avatar CSS snippets and this dashboard is all made by tfthacker.com. I will uh, leave the link down below uh, the tutorial how to do it. I really want you to support uh, support them. They are very, very great, tfthacker.com. And uh, yeah, this is my dashboard 
where I use the, use the homepage plugin to make it always pinned. And first thing uh, appear when I open my Obsidian Vault. So the clock is using a plugin called Widgets. They have three widgets right now. Yeah, uh, those are uh, wiki links, like my health, health issues timeline, where I keep my uh, timeline of, you know, health issues. There is roadmaps, homes, as I have a home or dashboard for ADHD, a dashboard for my kitchen job. And there is also the old dashboard. And there is ADHD, weekly research, ADHD teaching tips, my ADHD. And I keep tracking of my, of books, anime, manga, and stuff like that. Personal projects and some vote info like recent file updates and tag favorite favorite uh, notes and also the stats general stats about my vault so i have over 600 notes and a random note uh, also here on the sidebar i use the on this day plugin which uh, show me notes from my daily notes uh, folder randomly like seven days ago five days ago 20 30 months two years something like that i always wanted this feature to remember me of random stuff uh, that i might forget i use calendar and periodic notes plugin to write down my daily notes when you click on the number of the day uh, and open opens uh, a note that I already made a template so it's uh, the same thing every day I keep changing these templates I make it simple lately it was a mess now it's very simple there's tasks throughout the day and there's tasks at night journaling at morning at evening at night uh, daily reflections and reason lessons it's very simple uh, try always to make it simple and don't rely on plugins so we got all the way from here to here and go into the settings, uh, appearance, I use this theme, there is a lot of themes, there's also the minimal theme, I love it. You can change stuff from here that are related to the UI, the user interface of the vault, and those are the CSS snippets I talked to you about. I can leave some of them in the description, like the mini calendar one, makes the calendar small and beautiful. Here you'll find the core plugins and the community plugins. As you might see, I have over 48 plugins installed. It's, it have its own use case. I will talk about them in a future video. Those are all my Obsidian plugins. You can find them down below. And I will talk about them in near future. And one thing, uh, using go into the editor view mode, you will find this editor uh, toolbar. It's not there by default. It's a plugin called editor toolbar. I will also leave the link to it down below. It just add a little bit of convenience to the editing. And that was it. It is just a simple introduction to my obsidian setup how i use it and uh, that was it i uh, thank you for watching and i see you soon in another video where i explain each plugin and how i use it specifically and if you are interested about productivity tips especially for adhd or unmedicated adhd and tips in general uh, about ADHD and productivity, you can subscribe so you can uh, get updated with new videos. Also, you can follow my blog at imashindy.blog where I will also share tutorials and stuff that are related to ADHD and Obsidian and productivity in general. Thank you so much for watching and see you later.